Hey guys, it's Polly Post here. Um, excuse my hair. Um, so, um, I did tell you I was still going to make dance videos. You did not believe me. Here we go. So, this is a video on telling you how to make your punches last longer. Now, it's really important because my punches have begun to last about three weeks, um, and it's getting really out of hand. So, I've combined a couple of tips and tricks that have helped, um, to keep my point shoes going for a little longer. Now, um, I did make a video about a couple things in this video, but I forgot to post them, so I will get to that soon, so don't worry about that. But it does need some editing and stuff, so thanks for your patience and everything. So as promised, here's another dance video. So the first thing I'm gonna say is gluing. Now this thing is real dangerous. This is the video I was talking to you about that I didn't post yet, but this is jet glue and you can get it for about $12 um, in discount dance supply. Um, it's really like sticky so don't touch it, but this can um, make your shoes really new again. So it's really good to glue in the places that you need it, like in, on the shank where your most broken part is, or in the box, which in the video I did explain. So. Check it out when you when I post it. Um, should be soon though, so definitely, um, definitely jet glue. This one right here, because other ones like the point shoe glue one, it's not as good as the original jet glue. So um, I really do recommend this specific glue. I have in one ounce and two ounce bottles. This is the one ounce bottle, and actually I think this was like nine dollars and like the. Um, I'm not sure about the prices, but you should go check them out. Um, and yeah. Second thing is shellac. I did post a video on this. Um, again, um, I have this, most people have the brush in the little can, but I have the spray because it's a lot cleaner and it's like a bullseye like thing. So it definitely puts it where you want it. This, um, does not harden your shoe. It keeps liquid from going it's like a finish so it's like a little layer that keeps sweat and like moisture away from the shank as much as possible and that's what wears down your shoe so this prevents that which is really good i do have a video on that too just the second thing is these bags are a no-no the shoes do come in these but that does not necessarily mean that it's safe to put your shoe in. This right here, it locks in all the moisture. There's a couple holes here, but it's like two holes. So this locks in all the moisture and sweat and your shoes will not dry by the time you have your next class. Um, you do want your shoes to dry for at least 24 hours and that's just to keep it a little bit off. But the inner layers of your shank will be moist. And if you use them again, it'll deteriorate more and more and more until they're dead. And these bags, don't put them in here until they're dry. Sometimes I do leave it in here because it's more organized, but I let them dry out and then I put them in here. The kind of bag you should use is this one, the little net bags like this, or leave them out. I lay them out on my table after dance class, just dry them out. But um, this is also an option. I have it, but I don't use it very much because it's kind of really big, so it's an inconvenience to add in to my larger dance bag. As you know, I carry a lot of stuff to dance class, so this is going to be harder. Um, and it will not fit all my point shoes in here with their accessories. So that's a issue. Second one, darning. You can use a stitch kit, which is not really preferred, but you can use wool to darn, which will keep the box and the platform from wearing out. So if that's your issue, that your that part of your shoe wears out a lot more like quickly, like the platform, that's what you should do. You should darn them. Um, I have never darned my point shoes because they did not work for me. Someone um, gave me darn point shoes to try and I did not like it very much. I don't know. So I don't do that anymore. But um, you should definitely try it if that's something that you need. Now, um, the second one is... Well, the second one. I don't know. One, two, three. Like the sixth or fifth tip is that you can use two shoes at a time and transition between the two like drying out it'll help you dry out so if one class is on monday one class is on friday i don't know something like that 
then you use one point shoe, point shoe A on Monday and point shoe B on um, Friday. And that's to give him like a good week to dry. And that's pretty, um, it's pretty much a good amount because you're not being pressed on when they're wet with sweat. You know, when, they, when they're sweaty and wet and you push on them again, it gets lower and lower and more bendable and things like that. So um, I will be posting another video on this because I did order two point shoes from Grishko. I ordered new Grishko Fouette Pros online from the official Grishko shop website. I ordered one regular color and one black one. So I will post a video on the black point shoes and what I got from there. Um, so you should really check it out, um, if you are into Grishko, of course. But, um, I ordered two at a time because my shoes are not lasting that long, and it's definitely because of drying. Um, I do leave them out to dry, but in between classes, it doesn't dry enough. And that's definitely an option. You think that it just, like, make, cost you more money, but it actually doesn't. It does help a good amount, but it will cost the same amount of money, because either way, your point shoes will last at least two times longer since there's two shoes. So, you know, you don't have to go shopping for maybe two months or something. And then, along with the drying time, maybe it'll be two and a half months, three months if you get lucky. So, you know, it, it is a little bit of an investment if you think about it, but it depends for everyone's different foot and everyone's different just shoes. So, that's definitely a good thing to do. And also, another one, breaking in. If you have a thing like me where your shoes go really fast, don't break in your shoes. At all. I know it sounds really dumb. It's like, oh, it's not comfortable, whatever. They have pre-arched shanks. You can just bend a little bit on the shank, but don't do anything else. Like, I stopped bending on the shank because the lady gave me um, a Fuerte Pro, which is a lot harder and quieter than a regular shoe. And she said, do not bend it at all. This should last you at least two months. Um, So far, it's been a month. I can still work in them, but they're not technically still usable. I'm, which I'm going to keep using them though, but you should definitely, whoa, what was I saying? Okay. All right. Sorry. Uh, I know that some people break their shoes every time before class, like they bend a little bit. That is applying pressure on it. You know, it's not going to help you um, anymore. It's going to hurt you more because every time you bend it, you deteriorate a little bit more, tiny bit. You won't even notice you bend it. Okay, well, it's a little looser. Next class, you bend it again. You know, it's not something, you're not dancing on it, so it's not worth that bend, you know? When you first get them, you can bend a little tiny bit, barely anything, and step on the box. I stopped breaking them in at all. I just step on the box, and that's it. I do not even touch the shank, because I get medium shanks instead of hard shanks, so it goes to my um, arch right away. Because, you know, when you push down on it with a little bit softer, it goes to your arch. But I am not getting a soft because that'll just be a mess. A total mess. So, you know, these are just a couple, like, tips that I found to be working out for me. So, you know, if you have any other suggestions, you can leave them in the comments for people who um, are coming to view this video as well. And also, guys, um, what I was going to say is that this is just a side note. If you don't want to watch further, you don't have to. But um, just an update that... There are getting to be a lot of inappropriate comments on my videos and I don't see how like I'm attracting inappropriate attention um, in any way. So I'm spending some time like most of my time like deleting um, and reporting inappropriate comments um, and I really don't appreciate it. So keep in mind that this stuff, I do notice this stuff, I don't ignore it um, but it's been bothering me a lot because you know, the things pop up on my phone, it says really disgusting things, and I don't know why. So just refrain from doing so, please. And if you see one um, anywhere, just know that I forgot to delete it. I'm not trying to keep any of those there. So, um, alright guys, uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I really appreciate your support and stuff, especially with the change on my channel, but I do have three or four videos I'm planning to upload all at one time. So that's probably why they're not up yet but I will upload them as soon as possible. So I really appreciate this. And all right, guys, bye.